Unify just released a new mobile app for Unify Access. This is to go along with their Protect and Network apps they already have out there. In this video today, we're going to take a look at what you can do within the app and we'll go ahead and set some devices up within. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and comment down below if you've enjoyed this video or even if you haven't. Let's jump straight in. What you want to start with doing is going to your Play Store or the iOS App Store and downloading the Unify Access app. So let's go ahead and go into the app and see how we can get this set up. Initially, we're greeted with a dashboard which shows you the number of devices and quick buttons to policies, doors, cards and visitors. Um, I'm just going to scroll across the bottom first, so just down here. So you've got the devices themselves, so if you have groups, doors and devices. You then have your users, whether they're active or not active, so we have those there. And then you have your access logs, so you can actually scroll through here, check out week, week month, three months, and then all the different activities if there is any. Um, and then finally we have the settings. Uh, in here we have the advanced features, emergency, and then you've got the info and support contact down below. Before we have a look at any of these, let's go ahead and add our first devices. So. I already have the Unify Access plugged in, so I go to Devices and click the plus button in the top right hand corner. What that then gives you is you're greeted with a drop down which says Add Device. We go ahead and add device and it goes and scans your network to see what's available. So I already have the UA Hub installed and I have the UA Pro and the UA Lite. So let's start with the Hub and click Setup and it will say Enter the door name. Let's just call this one Test Door. And then you select the floor that it's on, it's on the first floor, uh, you click next. Just something that caught my eye, if we go back quickly, there's a little wiring diagram at the top. This shows you what's connected to your UA hub, so we just click done there, click next. You then have your UA Pro, which again we're calling this test door. You can choose whether it's entry or exit, so just much like how it is in the um, web browser. You can choose either access card or pin, or you can have both. We then click next and we have the UA light, which again you can choose um, exit, entry, whichever way you want that to happen, whichever way you want to use that. You then have the option again for access card, so there's no actual screen on this, so you would just have the access card to tap, or you can actually choose to have a hand wave to exit. So you can just wave in front of the UA light reader and it opens the door for you. For now, we're going to choose access card and we click save. And there we go, it's slowly adding those in, so let's just give that a second and all three of those are online. Each of these devices you're able to click into them and see what's actually connected. So you can see the WAN is connected, but it's actually a LAN cable, so it's going back to a switch. So you have the output relay hold time, which is 5 seconds. Uh, you have the normal wiring, which is showing it, so if there is something wrong it will come up here that it's not normal. So if you go here it all looks to be okay. I'm pretty sure that's a glitch just there, the wiring is showing as abnormal now, but it was fine a second ago. So if I just go back and then go into it, it's showing normal again. What the model is, what the IP address is, the MAC address and all the rest of it down here if you need to reboot it or unmanage it. So pretty much you can get everything set up from here. You have your exit and entry connected also as well. We go back, we go to test door and again these are some of the things that we set up earlier. So your greeting messages. You can have none, hello, hi or welcome. It broadcasts either your first name, last name or full name. You can choose or it doesn't broadcast anything. Uh, the pin layout is fixed and you've got brightness volume and, and how far it picks up from the device itself. Again, same sort of information, reboot, unmanage. And then finally we have the door axe, the, the UI light, sorry. Um, and that gives you the same thing. So you can always change these settings at any later point. If we now go back to the dashboard, you can see we have three devices, we have no logs. You can now select policies from here. Um, I have already gone through all of this uh, in another video, I'll drop the link in the description below, so if you want to have a look at that, feel free to check it out. It was in the web browser, um, but the same concepts apply. Um, if it is something you want to see that's slightly more updated with this, or if you want to see how to set this up in the app, drop me a comment down below and I'll see if I can put a video together for it. But for now, I'm not going to run through all of it, I'll just quickly show you on top what the default policies are and how it allows you to change everything on here as you wish to do so. Schedules, holiday groups, they're all here. You have doors, it takes you to the next tab across where the doors are located. 
click on main door, you can go to activities, have a look at the activities, the policies that are assigned to it. You can set a scheduled unlock if you want. It'll have a look for any devices, if there are any new ones, and again, down to your setting. And finally, you have door groups. So if you wanna group your doors together, um, say for example, one area or one lobby area, you can do that as well. Then going back to the main dashboard, you've got cards. And this will show you how many cards are assigned if you need to assign any new cards, what door. It looks like you need to tap it against the actual Unify reader. It doesn't actually give you the option to just type in the card number um, for the card itself. And finally, visitors. If you have any visitors coming to visit you, uh, you can add their details in here. One-time visit, periodic visit, add more information. Let's just go ahead and quickly set one up. Test, test. Um, yep, let's go here. Uh, phone number, you can type in a number. Okay, click next. And then you can either say enter a pin, so auto generate a pin, so it comes up with a pin. We click save, um, and that's it, we click done. I think what I've mentioned in a previous video also as well, which what would be really good is where you type in the number or email address. Um, if it could send you, uh, send it to your visitor directly. So whoever's managing it doesn't actually have access to the pin or know what the pin is or able to use it. It automatically randomly generates one and it can be a one-time code or a multi-use code, however it works. I think this would be a good addition to the visitor section. Going back to where we were right at the end, we have the settings. Click in advanced, it will show you what you want to have set up here. So you can say UA card only, so it won't let you use any third party device, any third party access cards. You can turn that on. And if you want to, when you're unlocking the door, you can get it to capture some video. So if you have a hard drive in your UDM Pro, you can actually get it to capture, at the moment it's eight seconds, but you can go all the way up to 10 seconds on who's actually entering the door. You can change the pin length also here as well, which is, also, if you want to make it less, eight, eight is the most that you can go to, but if you want to make it less, you can make it less. A couple more things I just want to quickly show you is if you go to the doors and then actually find the door itself, this is the UA Pro. So what it shows you, it quickly shows you the devices here. You can actually go ahead and connect to it. So it's going ahead and connecting. There you go, so it's quickly showing you an image of what's there. At the moment, it's just facing the wall, but you can go ahead and unlock. You can unmute the speaker so they can hear what you're saying. And also you can hear back what's happening over there as well. And then the easiest way to unlock it is obviously just going to the door here, clicking unlock, and that goes ahead and unlocks the door. I think again, another good thing would be at the start, maybe on the dashboard, you have a quick unlock buttons here. You have some favorites you can put where regular doors are being used. You can actually use this here as well. So I've just gone ahead and pressed the little doorbell button that's on the UA Pro, and you can see this is what comes up. If someone is at the, if this is located at the front door, it can work as a doorbell as well, in terms of you're able to ring it and someone's able to let you in. So we can go ahead and click answer, and there you go, it's the same thing again. You can talk to the person, you can hear yourself back on it. You can go ahead and decline or you can go ahead and unlock the door depending on what you want to do. You can let the person in and then you just close it and then that's it. Just like the web browser, you can do everything that you need to do within the app. So you no longer need a computer to get this set up. You can do everything from the mobile app itself. However, most probably for larger scale deployments, you might not want to do everything through your app. But if you need to make any configuration changes, this is a really good place to do it. Just like I've mentioned in some of my other videos, I really like the way Unify Access are going with their product. It is still in its infancy, and there is a lot more still to come in the pipeline. However, that being said, trying to deploy this today in a large scale environment, you may struggle as there are a few key components missing. Not just a case of obviously running the application itself, but to meet the standards and regulations that you need for it to be deployed. Hopefully, like I mentioned, these will come later on down the line. Again, if you found this video useful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below. If there is anything else you wanna see on the Unify Access, as I mentioned, I do have some videos on there, so have a look in the description below. This is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.